We'll now take a look at some improvements to Treehouse in SOLIDWORKS 2017. So SOLIDWORKS Treehouse is a separate application that is installed automatically with SOLIDWORKS and we'll go through a couple of use cases for it. First use case is it can be used to plan your assembly structures up front. So we have our Treehouse window here and on the left hand side we have all of our various templates that we use inside SOLIDWORKS. So if we wanted to start a new assembly, we just pick the template that we wanted and just drag it into the graphics area like so. At this stage, we can give the assembly a name. And then we can start to add parts to our assembly or sub-assemblies to our assembly. So let's have a couple of parts in there. Like so. And let's have a sub-assembly in there. Now the sub-assembly may have several parts inside it and those parts may be brand new or alternatively we can come in and we can use existing files. So that just launches an explorer window. I'll go into my parts folder there and I'll just drag in some existing files. So you'll see there that this top plate goes inside the sub-assembly and this top plate goes in at the top level. We can also include our drawing sheets here. So again, I've just got access to my templates here and we can just add in drawings during this process. Now, when we're happy with the structure that we've created, we have an option here to export to SOLIDWORKS documents. What would happen if I clicked on that is it would create five new documents in total so three new parts and two assemblies and if we were to open the top level assembly you would see that it would reference back to this component here that we've dragged in from our existing files option so that's the first use for it the second thing we can make use of is examining existing assembly structure so we'll just go ahead and drag in an existing assembly And you'll see that it lays out the assembly, it lays out the assembly in a nice visual way that's very easy to understand. We can also use this tool to create new assemblies based on existing assemblies. The way we would do this here is go to our top level, right click and choose the option save as new document. We'll give the file a new name. And at that point it goes green, indicating that it's a new document. We could also take one of the sub-assemblies and save that as a new document. And one of the components inside and save that as a new document. Like so. Now again, if I was to go to export to SOLIDWORKS documents, what would happen in this instance is it would create three new documents in the folder that I specify. Um, and if we were to open up the top level assembly, it would reference all the existing files that were there. And it would also reference two new files that we've created that sit within that assembly structure. In terms of what's new within SOLIDWORKS 2017, we now have a new option here to import drawings with models. So we just need to provide the search location for those drawings. And then when we open up the assembly, If the component within the assembly has a drawer in next to it, you can see it displays with the icon highlighting that that is the case. So that can be useful just to check that every document that you've got in there actually has a drawing associated to, to it. Also within the 2017 release, we have the option to open in Excel. So if we click on that, it will open up the assembly structure inside Excel it will give us the names of the components, the configuration that's being used, and also the quantity, as well as all custom properties within those files. So really nice, easy way to explore that assembly structure. Finally here, because this is such a nice way to look at the model, um, we've got a lot of questions asking us, could we save the structure out as an image? 
And unfortunately, the answer was no. You'd have to essentially use your print screen tools with inside Windows to grab a screen capture and then, uh, and then save that out as a JPEG or, or whatever file type you may choose. We now have the option to print and we can print from here directly to PDF or hard copy. So just to summarize what we've seen there, there's a new option to import drawings. We can open drawings directly from Treehouse we can export the structure to Excel. We can print the structure to PDF or hard copy. And in general, it's a great way to visualize assembly structures.